baby I know it's getting late And you don't wanna wait But I won't waste your time And now maybe I want you to know Without me you don't go All I wanna ask is I Hello everyone, I'm Tyler and you're watching The Source. Tyler, let's start with the song Getting Late. It's, it's gone viral for jamming to it. Did you expect this? And how did you get to work with Cool Drink? Um. I didn't expect this at all. Cool Drink and I never expected this. So 2019, I was introduced to him and he was the first producer I ever recorded with. And mm-hmm. we'd be recording for a while up until getting mm-hmm. late. And we just knew that when we were making that song, that that was the song that I wanted to release. Yeah. And first time trying Amo Piano, first time Cool Drink tried Amo Piano music. And mm-hmm. it was just natural and organic and genuine you know yeah. we never expected reaction but we blessed to have had this um success especially on yeah. the first song yes so it's a very exciting time yeah i know that the audio was released during covid or pre-covid which one is pre-covid which? pre-covid so how has your time been with the lockdowns and covid itself um so like we all had to do a lot of adapting um as an artist and as someone that was planning on launching the whole Tyler thing during that COVID time it did yeah. affect me because I had yeah. to now be patient I couldn't uh record I couldn't perform I couldn't mm-hmm. do a music video yeah. so a lot of it was set back because of COVID but mm-hmm. I'm I'm glad that I got to spend a lot of time with my family. We drew mm-hmm. very close mm-hmm. during lockdown. But as an artist, it was bad. But I mean, it worked out because we wouldn't have had all of these new yeah. scenes if we yeah. released it earlier. So everything happens for a reason. Yes, it does. Did you have time to, you know, get your mind right and get to writing your music? Because I know you write your own music. And how has the creative process been like for you, even with getting uh, getting late out to the world? Um, so during COVID, I was spending time writing and everything. But when it comes to getting late, when we um, were mm. making that song, I just remember Cool Drink Busy trying to make a, yeah. I'm a few, me yeah. on the side of trying to yeah. think of about and when I write, I usually listen to the beat and then I record myself singing like random things. Mm-hmm. And if I like it, I build on that. So that was basically the process of me making Getting Late. And yeah. it, it about patience when it comes to relationships, but in a mm-hmm. more fun way. So like, yes. I'm getting yes. late. And yeah. And as a That's you, yeah. So relationships yes. are supposed to be fun. Yeah. And not. Yeah, so that's what we ended up doing, and that was the whole process behind the song. Mm-hmm. Um, you're only 19. How did you stumble upon you doing music and dancing? By the kudos on the dancing on the video, it's amazing. Thank you. Um, so ever since I was young, I knew I wanted to become a singer, performer. Mm-hmm. I would watch all like the Beyonce's. Mm-hmm. Re- Justin Bieber, I mean, not Justin Bieber, but yeah, Justin Bieber, uh, Michael Jackson and all of them. And I knew that it was something that I felt I was supposed to do when I'm older. Yeah. Yeah. When I was young, performing for my family, performing for the schools and everything. And mm-hmm. it was a dream that left me. Mm-hmm. So um, I always knew that it was what I was going to get into. And then when it comes to the dancing, uh, my best friend... Tato, the Gemini. She also styled. Oh, the whole very movie. pretty as well, and good dancing. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. so she actually taught me how to do dance to Ama Piano because, like, I would see it and everything, but yeah, um, yeah. I'd never really tried it seriously. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 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 you got it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so um, one night I was like, Sato, please teach me how to dance to it. And yeah. we spent the whole and I just picked it up, you know, yeah. and I just started watching, watch, even watching Kamon Bella, mm-hmm. her dance. Mm-hmm. Basically, what happened? Oh, wow. Amazing. South African music, uh, especially my piano, has really taken over this last year with COVID and whatnot. Um, what's your response to the amazing support that you guys have gotten from all around Africa? I'll, I'll tell you here in Kenya, we jump to a piano like it crazy. Is. Like yes, crazy. I'm yeah. Kenya, you know, and that's exciting. Like, I feel that it's, it's so amazing having that support from our fellow African countries as well because I know I love Afro beats and I love Kenyan music and I love like all different African music so just mm. to know that other African countries are listening to um piano is very exciting especially mm. because it, it's taking a, a like a while to build mm-hmm. that traction and mm. now finally are actually interested in the genre it's very exciting and i'm also excited for the international countries to also participate in the i'm a piano type music yes yeah, I, even the UK, we're in with you yes really the UK loves it. and soon the whole world is going to be into it i'm sure Social media is a big part of branding and you're big on tiktok you started out on tiktok let's talk about what role it plays in in pushing your music forward and you as a young teen in South Africa? Social media has been a huge catalyst to me building my audience and the success of getting late. Because, Mm -hmm. I mean, COVID, everyone was on their phones. Everyone was um, on social media. So it was like initially it was just something that I do for fun like I love making TikToks I love posting on Instagram Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my audience grew so much that I could now use that to share my music and broaden my audience and let people from all over the world listen to I'm a piano music and to getting late so it has helped a lot um, especially with the dance challenge that um, I did people from all over the world were doing that and still are so I mean it really helped a lot. It really did. I can't say specifics, but a lot of exciting things are to come. And mm. yeah, I just, the big dream and the overall dream is to bring the world's attention to Africa. So mm-hmm. I hope that I'm going to reach that goal. If you could dance one dance for the rest of your life, you know, Guara Guara, um, what, what, what dance would you pick to dance for the rest of your life? I think the Pouncing Cats, I mean, I feel like it goes with every song, every genre. Mm-hmm. Oh, it would that That's moment. a good choice. Yes. A good choice. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.